Welcome to the Holly Community Show. I'm your host, Verna, sponsored in part by the Shooting Star Casino Hotel and Entertainment. Today we are at Muscatel Burns in Holly with General Manager Jason Gelbert. Jason, thanks for your time. Thank you. Yep, yeah, we're just going to get some information on what's new at the dealership. If you would like to give us a little background, your experience here so far. Okay, I came aboard here, um, let's see, it would be about two years ago. I've um, been with the Muscatel organization out of our Moorhead stores for it'd be a total almost five years. Okay. Um, came out here um, in two year, April of a year and a half ago, I guess it is. But um, came out to a store with Ward Muscatel coming on board with uh, the Burns family about two years ago um, and joining a partnership of locally owned families joining the store in a store that's been here for over 81 years. Mm -hmm. so. Sure. Have you gotten to meet a lot of Holly customers? Yes. A lot of community uh, members? Somewhat becoming familiar with the community. Um, I personally live in Dilworth, but uh, as coming out here and working every day, get to know some of the local business owners and people, residents of town that do business with us. And okay. It's a great bunch of people. Good. Um, any community involvement with the schools? Yes, uh, we, we try and do as much as we can as far as help sponsoring uh, school activities, school functions. Um, we enjoy having, a, uh, there's a predetermined age group of class that comes out and learns a little bit about the car business okay. uh, a couple so times a year. Okay, school partner. Yes, okay, yep, fun. absolutely. Yep, we enjoy having the kids Good. around and learning about the car business. Sure. So. Okay, what other services does the dealership offer other than automotive sales? Um, you know, uh, yes, sales, and then we do have uh, Mike Beckett back in service. He runs our service department. Okay. Uh, Mike's been with us, I believe, a little over 25 years. Um, people have become pretty uh, familiar with Mike and Dwight and Brian and John, our techs in the back. Um, over the last year, we've had... Um, Added some new faces to the store here mm -hmm. um, with Randy Melby, our new parts manager, coming um, from over from the DL area. Brings a lot of experience, and uh, I think people are starting to get used to Randy and seeing his face okay. and becoming familiar with him. So, yeah, we've got a good bunch of guys here. Um, we've just celebrated Brian Huseman and uh, Dwight's, Dwight Gwynn's certification on some of their master technician certified. Um, we're really pleased to have Dwight here. He's one of 25 mechanics in our region as qualified as he is. And okay. Brian, one of 215. Okay, awesome. So through the low economy, downtimes, have you guys seen any economic trends? We are standing in front of a beautiful Ford Focus. Is that a higher... Uh, well, I tell you, we've certainly seen a shift in um, priority. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking for... Um, cost mm -hmm. savings um, reliability and uh, curb appeal i mean mm -hmm. car that looks good mm -hmm. um, ford has kind of grouped all of those things together mm -hmm. um, through the cash for clunkers ford was at the top of the list as far as with the focus and some of its products um, right now consumer reports rates ford equal to or above toyota and honda in quality okay. um, so we're, we're we feel fortunate awesome. to be able to sell the product good. that we're selling good and customer service, what can a customer ex experience when they come in to buy a new vehicle? It's not high pressure. Okay. Um, we keep the, the small town mentality. Uh, we get to know you by name. Uh, we, we provide some things that aren't so common in the city as far as a loaner vehicles and things like that okay. for service. Okay, good. All right. So, um, again, we're here at Muscatel Burns Ford in Holly with General Manager Jason Gelbert. We appreciate your time, Jason. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And we will be back with Holly Public Library and Joy Becker in a few minutes. Thank you. Welcome back to the Holly Community Show. We are here today at the Holly Public Library with our librarian, Joy Becker. Welcome, Joy. Thank you, Thanks for Brenna. taking time to include us. Oh, I'm happy to talk with you today. Good. Um, let's get a little background. You were a sub at the library to begin with. That's right. I subbed in Holly and a couple of other branches for two years before I took the sub position here in September. Mm -hmm. And we should clarify the Holly Public Library is a branch of the Lake Agassiz Regional Library System. That's right. An entire system in seven counties. So yeah, Joy has good experience and started in September mm -hmm. full time. Right. Why don't you share with us what some of the new events are and what some of the old events that you're continuing? 
Well, some of the old events that we're continuing, the knitters come in every Wednesday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, some of the new things that we've started doing regularly is story time. It's Turkey Tales is going to come up on Friday the 20th, this next Friday at 1030. We've got a story time just before Christmas, and then after the first of the year, we're going to do story time every Friday at 1030. Also, Tuesday is our monthly board game night. Uh, Tuesday night from 6 to 8. We usually do that the last Tuesday of the month, but it falls on the 17th this month. Okay. Um, and what kind of board games and what ages are we All ages including? are welcome. Okay. You can come by yourself, bring your friends, bring your favorite board games, or you can play some of ours. We've got a wide variety of the Trivial Pursuit and some children's board games, so okay. pretty lots, good variety. Lots of activities for the kids. Um, you mentioned the knitters. They're always willing to help new people yes. start, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay. And if you can't come regularly, just stop in. They're a great group of gals. Yeah, if you get stuck on a project, yep. they're excellent helpers. Yep. So, um, other adult programming, PBS workshops coming PBS up? PBS workshops are coming up. Those are oh. open to parents and caregivers. Um, I know daycare providers get continuing ed credits for those, so we encourage them. PBS puts them on. Kristen Moore out of Fargo comes in with her group of materials and she does a great job. Mm -hmm. We've got one coming up on the last Tuesday of the month and the last Tuesday in December also. Okay. And those are also open to educators That's and right. free of charge, right? That's correct. Yes. Perfect opportunity in Holly for daycare providers yep. and educators and parents. Um, let's see. How about you let us know how to access the library? Where can we find you on the internet? You can access us and well, as well as all of our events on laurel.org, L-A-R-L.org. You can look up your account, request books, you can renew your books. Um, we've got a lot of online resources that you can access. There's games for kids, there's um, ancestry databases, um, car databases, you name it, it's mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. Hook up your iPod and get some books. That's right, download <laughs> books on there. Okay, and your hours, days and hours. Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 2 to 8 p.m., Thursdays and Fridays from 10 to 6 p.m., and Saturdays from 10 until 2. Okay. So what's been the most exciting event so far? Uh, probably the board game night. That was okay. really fun. Okay. And you had a big open house to welcome you, and you yes. had a good turnout for that. Yes, we did. Good. good. It was great. Okay. Well, we appreciate your time, Joy. Again, we're at the Holly Public Library with our librarian, Joy Becker, with Lake Agassiz Regional Library System.